think that is a yeah. Uh, cry out loud, spirit not, lift up that voice like a trumpet. Who is that? Who is he speaking to, right? Let's go into the definition. Go into the gospel, definition of gospel real quick, and then get Isaiah chapter fifty-eight, verse one. The blue letter or the red letter? Yeah, the blue letter. Okay, sir. Um, um, yeah, Isaiah fifty-eight, verse one. Um, no, hold that. Get the blue uh, letter. Yeah, get Matthew 24. Yeah, get Matthew 24. Read that real quick, right? I, I, and read, matter of fact, just hold that. Mm -hmm. Just get, go, give me what you got. He got it, bro. This is the book of Matthew 24. Yeah. Um, it says, uh, and he sat up. You, you, you want me to get the context? Yeah, 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 yeah. Read, 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 read from right there. Uh, All right, come on. It says, Olives. Matthew 24 and 3. Yep. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming of the end of the world and Yahweh answered and said unto him take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying I am Mashiach and shall deceive many and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled yeah this is key right this is key because we're not fucking news reporters all right we're not reporters bro like you, 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 you men know That's about what was happening, what's happening around the world because Esau told you guys already. So he's, he's already, this is his lot, this is his job. He's the one that's over there recording. He set up the system to where you can know what's happening in America or, 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 or in Russia or in, in these other places, in the Ukraine or where, wherever it is, right? So when these things come up about, read that again, bro. It says... And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled. Yeah, see that you not be troubled. What is the definition of trouble? The blue letter for trouble is to cry aloud, make a noise by outcry. Oh, man. So when you when you when you watch our videos, right, and in response to our videos, you say you guys are supposed to be reporting the news. Uh report and then the first thing you go into is yeah, these earthquakes in diverse places. But well, there's been earthquakes in diverse places. There's been wars and rumors of wars. Yahweh Shah Mashiach told us not to be troubled. And what's the definition of trouble? To cry aloud, to make a noise, outcry, or in the New Testament, to trouble, frighten, to be troubled in mind or alarmed. You guys are like, you read these and you're troubled in your mind. You're alarmed. You're like petrified, right? But, the, but, but, but what did he tell us to cry out loud? And to do Ezekiel, uh, Isaiah chapter 48. So he told us not to cry out loud, not to be troubled concerning these things, right? Don't be out here trying to petrify men about this. We heard, we heard this, the lesson last week. The, le the lesson last week was the same lesson the week before. We know about these earthquakes and these rumors of war. This is what we're not to be troubled about. He's going to go on to tell us what we should do. Give me what you got, bro. Isaiah 58 and verse 1. Go ahead. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sin. Yeah, so the scriptures say, show the show my people their transgressions. And we're gonna get into we know through the spirit who the heavenly father's people are, right? And the house of of of, of Jacob their sins, right? So when we're preaching out here on, on, on the on the streets, what are we telling you men to do? We're telling you to repent underneath the new covenant. This is the gospel, right? But the Lord is going to give us instructions. Continue on, bro. Oh. No, hold, hold that for me real quick. I want to, I want to finish. It tells list. you, for yep. all these things must come to pass. Okay, hold that. Yep. But the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation. Yeah, so nation, you're going to have race wars. Chill. Chill. You're going to have race wars. This man's going to want to kill this man. Because he's of this race, all right? Chill, bro. Go ahead, bro. And kingdom against kingdom. Yeah, kingdom is going to fight against kingdom, right? The first, you had Adam and you had Eve, right? They had Cain and they had Abel, right? There was bloodshed since the beginning, all right? Go ahead, bro. And there yeah, World War War, World War II. Uh, you had the Civil War. You had the Revolutionary War. Yeah. France and uh, 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 England fought what's called the Hundred Year War. Napoleon and Napoleon, you had England, uh, wars. You could go into uh, the Roman Wars, the Punic Wars, we could go wars, right? Go ahead, bro. And there should be famines and pestilences 
and earthquakes in diverse places. Famine during the time of uh, Elijah. Famine. Like, you're going to have these famines, right? Go ahead, bro. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So these are just the beginning of sorrows. Chill. Chill. Be calm. Relax. Be cool. Be calm, cool, and collective. Go ahead, bro. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Continue on. Now, now it's getting dangerous, <laughs> right? These are the things that's going to come, but even then, chill. It's okay. Relax. Right? What did the Yahweh Shai say when Pilate was like, yo, don't you know I got the power to free you? But look, you don't got no power over me, right? My father got the power, right? What, what did Stephen do? When he went out, he went out with a bang, didn't he? But uh, Peter said, I don't want to be crucified like that. Hang me upside down, right? It all went out, bro. Paul said, look, bro. he said, look, he wrote his letter. He said, I don't know what they about to do to me. But whether they put me in life forever, or if I die, oh well. He said, if, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm here, hey, I get to preach the gospel to the people. If I'm dead, I get to be with Yahweh Shahab Mashiach. Either and so way, either way, way it's a win-win. Yeah. He wasn't ducking no smoke from when he got caught up, when he when he, when he he preached to uh, Festus and to um, Agrippa. He said, I'm ready to die. He been ready to die, right? Uh, who's that, Roman? Who shall separate us from, from the love of Yahweh Shah Mashiach? Give me that real quick. Give me that real quick. Right, trying to right. throw dirt on Paul's name. Oh, he was being wise as a shepherd. No, he was given a degree from Yahweh Shah Mashiach to teach the, to, to the Gentiles, to the kings, and to the children of Israel. And he followed through with those orders. Come Romans 8, verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shah? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril of sword, as is, as is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long, we are killed as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors to them that, to him that love us, for I am persuaded that, that for I am persuaded, for I am persuaded that, like if I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angel, nor principalities, nor powers, nor, uh, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, no height, no depth, no any other creature shall be able to save us from the love of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Yeah, he, was, he, was, he was ready to die a long time ago. I'm persuaded. Die, left, principalities, yep. right? Anything, not, nothing. Persecution, he was sword. Yep. He, was, he didn't care. Yes, All right, so he was following orders. Who was, um, who was uh, he at? Yeah, uh, Matthew 24 and we were at 9 where it says, then, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Go ahead. And shall kill you. Go ahead. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Yeah, well, I mean, what the fuck? Go ahead. Now I'm in the vacuum because even in Revelation, when they talk about those spirits asking the Lord how long, he said, Rest until thy fellow servants are killed as well. That's right. Yep, go ahead. And it goes on to say, yep. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Yeah, a lot of false prophets are arising, man. Trying to put dates on something that you can't put a date to. That goes into vain glory, man. You know, you got certain certain amount of days until the end of the world comes, right? Then, and then, and, and then that time comes, your prophecy don't take place. Men get disgruntled, and it's ah oh, fuck them. They, 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 they. Where's the accountability? Well, you are separate. You're a separate. You're a separate. Yeah, the more they don't want them. But wait a minute, you're the one who told them that. Oh yeah, the year, the hopeful year of all the, the prophecies coming uh, uh, to pass. The year passes, we're still here. Oh, I said hopeful. Oh, now the hopeful year. It's like these are, come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, we don't know the time. So if we don't know the time, yeah, the scriptures say Yahweh Shai doesn't even know the time. So don't, let's not play with this type of stuff because it's been given to us. The scriptures say measure the time diligently in itself. So we're not gonna play with the time. We're just gonna, if time is space and matter, you can't measure it with a ruler. You're not gonna go out and measure space. No, you're, you're, took, look at, you're taking a look at these events and then you're measuring, okay, this event has to happen in order for this event to happen. We tell you brothers all the time, if you have a book with a seal on it, you gotta open up each seal. Each seal represents something, right? Open up this seal, then you open up this seal, then you open up that, then you're able to open up the book. But as you open up these seals, things happen. So we're waiting for these events to take place. This is how, there's things that gotta happen. All right, and if, and, if, and if men knew the time, the sincerity wouldn't be there because they'll wait till the last minute to try to get right with the Lord. And the Lord trying to see who's going to turn to him now. Like the scripture says, remember to create in the days of thy youth. Yep. You know, so the Lord wants you to attend to him now before his, his coming. Right. You know, you got a lot of men that's just, you know, just 
playing games with this, man. Um, keep going with because I want to get to that point. Oh, Carl, it says, um, um, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. So now this gospel of the kingdom has to be preached unto all the ends of the world, right? What's the definition so, of gospel? A gospel, a reward, a reward for good tiding, good tiding, the glad tiding of the kingdom of God soon to be set up. Or subsequently also of Yahweh Shahamashiach the Messiah, the founder of this of this of this kingdom. Uh, yeah. So the gospel is good tidings, man. Yep. This is good news that you should be uh, pushing throughout the earth. Yeah, it says, uh, the first chapter, it says to preach uh, liberty to the, the captive, captive. Yep. To heal the sick. Yep. You know, that's that's ultimately what the good news is, bro. That's and right. that's just not subjected only unto Israel. You know. It says the glad tidings of salvation through Yahweh Shai. The, procl the proclamation yeah, of the proclamation grace. when you're and you're teaching and you're speaking and you're you know when you set out to do your lessons uh, 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 th this this these events had already happened please understand this all we're doing is is telling people and reminding some people like look Yahweh Mashiach he died for our sins right he nailed the, the, the flesh to the cross those old ordinances to the cross and he was resurrected again not everybody believed in the resurrection but in his resurrected what died should be you you have the opportunity to repent that old man dies and what's resurrected is a new man in you if you cleanse out your temple and the spirit of Yahweh Shai dwells in you then you become a new creature so that you can be able to enter in to the kingdom of heaven this is all that we're saying this is all that matters you're gonna there are gonna be wars there are gonna be rumors of wars these things are gonna happen but your focus is gonna be honed in on a gospel on your outside. side go ahead bro so the, the proclamation of the grace of god manifested yeah. well well the proclamation of the grace of god can we get the definition of grace Baba Kasha? well the proclamation of the grace of god and a lot of men seem to not to understand what grace is man Come the, the definition for grace. Uh, matter of fact, we got it corrupt. I, I got it in, in the in the Google definition. But yeah, yeah. Um, you should have it right there if you go if you click it. No, go back to where you was at. If you go click it go to, to, the, to the description because it, it, it may mention it, right? No, no. no, no it not it. Yeah. So grace. Get the definition of grace, Baba oh. Kasha. Grace is grace is favor, grace, charm, elegance, acceptance. Favor, charm, elegance, acceptance. Go ahead. Gracious, pleasant, well favored. Pleasant, well favored. Go ahead. Precious. Precious. And an objective of beauty. Yeah. Grace. And a blue letter. Yeah. Grace is precious, and that's exactly what Yahweh had to lay down his life for, man. To right. give us that, that, that precious gift, man. Right. This is a gift of the Messiah. Hey, that's this is the vibration that the apostles was teaching, man. Sure. This is the vibration that the apostles was pushing. Sure. You know? Sure. Oh, it says, uh, the proclamation of the grace of God manif manifest and pledge in Yahweh Shai. You know, the gospel. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, so, you know, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is what we, what, what, what we are to do, man. We're yeah. to push these things. Yeah. All right? But, um... Yeah. Pushing your house shot, making your house shot. Yeah. Grab you. The first chapter? Yeah, you can grab that. You saw that first one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, ready? Come, come. This is Hebrews 1 and 1. Come. This is God who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Yeah, that's how, that's how the Lord used to spoke, uh, speak to his people, to the prophets, man, which, uh, which uh, ever since the world began, you know, uh, uh, when, whenever there is something wrong with our nation, uh, the Lord will send this prophet, you know, you have Nathan, you have Samuel, you have uh, uh, Moses, and, you know, Elijah, Jeremiah, Isaiah, to, to, to improve our people, to rebuke our people, to let them know what they're going, what they're going wrong, man, to, to make them turn up to Yahweh Baal Shem Verse you know? 2. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. That's right. Who he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Yeah, in the last days, it, that's a, in that, the last days, start with Yahushua, man. Ever since Yahushua was born, that was the beginning of the last days, man. So Yahushua came 
uh, 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 the Lord said to Hoshai, his beloved son, to speak to his people, man. Before he said the prophets, but now he's speaking to us by his sons. That's what it says. Uh, this is my beloved son, whom I'm well pleased. Hear he, ye him. That's right. So his son supersede over a shadow of the prophets, man. He has a, a greater importance than the prophets, man. It says, uh, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. Yeah, and that's exactly why Yahushua says, uh, uh, to Nathan, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father, right? So if you see a house, I guess what? You're looking at the Father, man. Philip. 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 I said Nathan. It's like yeah. Philip. 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 It's like and it's upholding like all things by the word of his power. That's right. When he had by himself purged our sins. That's right. Sat down on the right hand of the Majesty on high. Yeah, he's our, our intercessor. He's like a, 